everyone. What's up, everybody? It's A Sick. Coming to you guys with another video. Thinking about doing something different. A character breakdown, or more just a character look into Pyra and Mira. I, I haven't, um, I played a little of them yesterday just to see their moveset and everything. And I want to I wanna kind of show on the channel what they can do too. What's a good trainer stage? I would say Smashville. If I can find I don't know, I had that stage a lot. Um, that's how you know I don't play Smash Bros. like that. I'll forget where the places of the stages are at. This is it? No, it's your shit. I don't want to too crazy. I could just go regular. No, I'll just go regular Battlefield. Oh, back up, back up. Wait. Um, get some Xenoblade music playing because you know you gotta have something like that. Let me see. Hell yeah. Alright. How do you do? Uh, let's go normal. Now, I'm not sure if you can switch into from the character select screen. Let me see. Oh, you can't. Okay. I'm actually going to start off with Mithra. This is some of their skins. I like the base one. That one's so cool. Uh, that was really cool. Oh, that one did just swap swap hair colors, kind of, on their base one. Pretty neat. I, I don't mind that one. Oh, that one looks badass, though. Oh, it's between this one and this one. I like the most. Let me see. The suit's changed a little bit. That one looks nice. I'm going with the base color, though. But, wow. Yeah, this dark one looks awesome. Okay, let me stop playing real quick, though, for this one. Oh, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. What I was liking so far, I, I like what I was seeing so far. So this is uh, Mira. Mithra. I'm always going to say Mira in my head. A little bit of the taunts. Now, she is... This character kind of reminds me of Zelda. Back in Brawl, when you can switch between her and Mithra, her and um, Pyra, and Zelda had that you can switch between Zelda and Sheik, which is really cool. Pyra is very slow, and I'm not gonna say very slow, but you can see the speed difference, movement speed of them. That's one thing you gotta look forward to. It's easier to get that stuff off and it kind of reminds me of power skill because Zelda actually had a little more killing power than then Sheik. Sheik was all about the speed and the high potential of damage so let me uh I forgot how to reset oh okay that's how you reset positions let's go over some of the moves I'm starting off with uh Mithra the attack speed is good on her. Let's go over her, her neutral. Multi hit Spanish special. And it actually has some range on there. As you can see, I mean, that bag up a little bit. I guess only if it connects, though. But you could actually tap it and have that three strike. to do it. I guess it depends on distance when you're super close. You get that attack like that. Let's go over her four smash. Pretty good distance. It covers... Actually, it's very short range. Oh my god. I'm ready to do anything with that. Um, how about her down special? Down special is kind of short. For that. This is when it comes to like. You can see. You can do a lot. Of, you can do some stuff with that though. As I'm seeing because. Since the hits. Aren't crazy with it. You can do some stuff with that. The thing about. Uh. Myth Mithra is her 
uh, B doesn't have too much. Right? Hey, how you talking about that now? So we went over the spe the attacks, neutral attacks, kind of. Up smash, oh, up smash. You got some juggle potential. I say at uh at lower numbers, you can actually probably down smash into a couple of of errors. So you can do stuff like that. Can you combo up air after down? Down ground? Yeah, you probably can. It's gotta be a little bit a little bit closer to him. So that's decent. How about up air? Oh, it actually juggles a little bit off the ground. Which is very good. Decent. What about her four throw? Uh, See, so not really too many kill options with her. What well, back throw? Oh, that, that was back throw I was doing. Can you combo a grab after that? Okay, you can. I'm doing that. Our oh, fourth throw actually has maybe some killer potential. I can see like a knockback on it. Talk about her air, her air moves. Uh, the air neutral is this. You got some some decent range. It kind of reminds me of um, Pitts neutral. Only because it covers like a circle motion to him. And a little bit like four and back. Let me see. Does it actually cover her back? Yeah, it does. It's decent. This is her forward, forward air. Yeah, I got some. Like I said, she doesn't have the knock back. Like pure, but if you want the speed, you can do that. Her back air almost covers the same, it's the same type of uh, range with it. I don't know if it's a little quicker than the four one though. Her down air, if I can hit it. Let's see. Her down air is pretty cool. As it does cover something a bit. And you could actually fast fall from it. So I like that. I like her moves are uh, very fast, very quick. So if you want to get in a character that gets some fast damage. You do that, but as you see, it takes a while for her to kill, though. Like, extremely takes a while. But you won't need or where rather you going to uh, uh, Pyra. Let's go about her special moves now. That's what I think she's really cool at. So, this is our neutral special. Now, of course, you can cancel it. Um, I think you can. You can do. You can hold it for more damage, which does have uh, some kill power to it. You can look, just do it that way as well, which is pretty cool. Her side special is really cool. So it's like a four lunge. Kind of takes inspiration from uh, Sephiroth's side special, and you can actually come back to the stage with it as well like you know, it's kind of like a cross-up situation to it so I like that a lot um, they have moves kind of like Shulk when you can force sight but I don't know how to actually computer damage um, run jump this was special Smash. Ah, I know you can. Yeah, you can do something like that. Where if you if you dodge at the right time, it's not. She doesn't really have a counter. I got missed time. <laughs> I missed time so bad on it. Yeah, okay, I missed time so bad. It doesn't have a counter like Shulk, but she does have a force side of it. Like even. Damn, rolling into it. <laughs> Got off. Oh. 
You gotta be like really almost there though. See, something like that. Pyrrha has it too. I think you can become invisible though if you use the down. I was I'm sorry about the us special real quick. Hold on. Her us special is uh stop stop yeah stop. It's this. It's a double hit a special and I think you you don't get any movement after this like no option you, you got the option to free fall though from it or fast fall I mean but eh. it's, it's a good edge guard tool I'll say because if you if you have the height over them maybe but I, mean, I, I don't go for edge guard like that Like look at that, they get, they can recover off that. But if you keep pursuing them, they won't have no problem. So stuff like so stuff like that. Let's go over her uh, down special back into Pyra this time, and it's cool because the taunt actually changes too, and it's fairly quick. Like I don't know how many frames this is, but that is that's a fairly quick change. You can do it in the air too. You could ask. Could have some directional input for, but not much. Let's talk about. Her. She is going to be the heavy hitter that you want. You can start into her and work your way into uh, transforming into pirate, but I don't know if I would recommend that. Let's go over her moves though, because it's not really two different separate characters, but move sets are the same, but they do different properties. So her regular attack, it's a multi hitting attack as well. I think you can do the three. You could also do the three. If you tap it. Well, if you ask some distance, I mean. Down, down uh, smash is this. Or well, down attack. Whatever that can see it. We got some juggle potential to it. Four smash. You said four smash is this. I like that it has that burn effect to it. And her up smash is this. This actually has some nice, um, like, like, trajectory behind her. I like, because you can do it like this and kind of keep juggling a little bit. You see her, her neutral, uh, her neutral air. She has that same thing, but it has a lot more knockback than uh than Pyra. Not Pyra me. I mean, I'm gonna get their days confused like all the time. You could do some things with uh with this though. Oh my god. That's because of juggle potential for it. Juggle potential is probably more for me me the thing, but you can do some stuff with Pyra too. Don't be discouraged to try some things out. This is our four air. That's some very good distance. Uh, you can go into four air, four air off that. A running smash. A running smash is uh, I like that. I like I like that the lunge you get from it. It may not seem like a lot. But is that now? Oh, her fucking her regular like tar smash moves are insanely strong. No? Like, look at this. This is her up smash. Get that burn effect and a lot of knockback to it. You want to be going for this one though. This is like the game for build up the meter, a uh, build on the meter, build up the like, damage you need with Mithra and go into Pyre to get that sweet. Those sweet things that that can kill early. I, I assume that can kill early. I'm not 100% sure, but judging by how it look, it probably does. And then you know her down smash is this. When I, when I down smash her down smash, so I didn't go over that with her. This is her down smash though. What's hard one? Uh, it does have a a back. Motion too, so you can use the cover ground, kind of like Schultz. This doesn't have 
I think it's must not I do I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that's we're actually catching catch this people from going up, okay. The tar flare is really good. Oh, tar flare is really good. And I'm gonna go over. Let's see, her neutral special is this. You can charge this as well, and you can also let it go. This kind of reminds me of, um, I, think, I don't know, this hero, hero size, size special actually has that kind of property where that circle motion is behind him, and you do something with that. That's actually your size special, though. Apparently, you can get stronger if you flick it. You get more, um, more distance with it, so you can actually hold it. Oh, that's actually good for Edgar, too. Now, I don't know the property of. I don't think there's no direct directional input for it. I think it's more just it holds the side. But it's also that's also good if you want to cover some ground like on the edge. I see people doing something like that for get get back up options. This is our up special. Our special is, is a cool. It's a double hit thing. You can actually move it a little bit. But I wouldn't recommend it uh, going like if you were like here trying to recover for it. But because it has such like she goes up so high, I can say you can use it pretty low. Not super super low to the to the, uh, to the edge, but pretty low. Or you can try to recover something like that. And she could turn around with it too. I do like. I like that it comes down with that second hit, kind of like a center roar a little bit. But she suffers kind of the same thing as that, cause uh, cause even even uh, Myra, she doesn't have that much of a uh, four or side movement when she's going into that. I like it that she shoots something out at the end. Same thing with Pyra, but. Pirate is a smash. So that's pretty cool. So let's talk about like what what, what I think probably is the game plan for me switching to Mithra. Build up as much damage as possible. Uh, and Pirate, she definitely can do it though. She can hold hold her ground. Things you don't have a counter, which kind of sucks. Well, not really. A lot of characters do have counters in the game, but. I think her, I want to say her transformation makes her invulnerable if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it does though. I seen someone do it, but it probably isn't size size. Let me see. Okay. A little too slow. Oh, it does. You get some invisibility from that. So you about to get hit? I recommend doing something like that. Playing the switch on, switch on game. Like I said, you can edge guard with that pretty well. You know, you still might take some time to do it with though. So keep that in mind. But I like how fast this size missile is in here. Okay, so that's pretty much what I think so far about it. But the game plan is you really want to use power to get that, uh, those smash attacks like that. Although Pyro isn't too bad to, to run up with either. Like to start out with and everything. Even though they both had like we just straight like one is slow, one is faster, but the transformation of in and out between the two is so good that oh shit. I don't even mind. Oh it actually catches you like that. Oh, you can't do that in the air, but it's it's uh. I don't see a situation when you would need that. Oh, <laughs> I don't see a situation you would actually need something like that though. But it's the option is there. I would want to see a final smashes though. So let me 
turn this off. Cause I think they do. Do you the same animation? I'm not sure they do the same animation. I think it's the same animation, but you'll have a different voice live. Alright, that was Mithra. Pyra, baby girl. Let's see what she got. Oh, I hate that he went up there, though. Okay. Okay, different animation. Oh, that's cool. You'll never see it in a competitive play, but that's, that's still kind of cool. Oh, that's still kind of kind of cool. You can build off some. Uh, let's see, you can do even grab damage. So you just do stuff like that. You weren't going to afford. Well, he's on the. Let's see. I think he start. I think he start right there. Okay. Come down, you can come down with the down special, and you can just kind of discover what you want with the characters as you go. It's kind of like my breakdown slash look into them. They have a lot of inspiration from other characters into the Smash, and I like they. Uh, it's, it's pretty. It's a good inclusion. Not everyone's fan favorite, though. Of course, it was I've seen as they're. Uh, Another female fighter, I don't mind. And from Xenoblade, of course. Xenoblade, I think, is a series that doesn't get as much limelight as it should. I never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I did touch upon Xenoblade um, Chronicles, though. I never beat that damn game. I hate to admit if I have to beat that. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. You can kind of psych people out. I might, I might have to do some, do some maximums, but I ain't gonna make it this video. I'm gonna actually separate from this one. Hope you guys liked my look into Pyra and Mithra and what kind of crazy combos they can probably do. I said I'm not like a hella professional, hella cold in this match, but I like these characters so far. Plan to be posting some matches with them, maybe. But first, let me just get some practice rounds in with them and everything, and that's what I hope to do. See you, my, see you guys on my next video. Looking forward for more Smash content and more content in general. It's Ace Sign out.